Hello and welcome back to more Roller Coaster Tycoon for yet another video of me playing in Funtopia, which uh, so far is indeed a really fun park. At least for our guest it is, because damn, man, look at the stuff that we built already. Now only this queer, you know, green, this yellow masterpiece over here is made by the devs, but for the rest it is all our own making. And uh, especially our latest addition, which is um, this river ride over here, is quite cool, I think. Because, um, look, <laughs> it is producing rain for our guests and our <laughs> weed fields, you know, our ganja fields over here. And uh, also, it's um, causing some possible aquaplaning over here on this ever so busy highway. No, we are in this park, and last time we built some stuff, but now we have 26 grants, or close to it, and we only need like 100 more guests or so, and we got a whole freaking year <laughs> to accomplish it, which is quite good, so yeah, we, I think it's safe to say that we can chillax a bit, you know, so to chillax a bit, let's do an easy vandalism check. Ah, it's not really all that bad. I saw two things over here at the entrance, but for the rest everything still looks to be in mint condition. And I don't see a whole lot of vomit and trash and whatnot either. And uh, bear in mind that we do have 1300 guests in our park, and that is quite a lot. So yeah, we're doing quite well actually. So first things first, let's um, replace all these vandalized things. Done. <laughs> it was only a couple. That's good. I like it. I like it when things get fixed fast. Fast fixing, like fast food and stuff. Now, what we also did last time was um, we built uh, more of this crud. And what I want to do is a quick pricing check on uh, all of that stuff. Now, it seems to me, yeah, this is for, um, where is this for? Let's put the rides back on, so I can at least see. Yeah, alright, so there's peeps on this ride, peeps on that ride. Wait, alright, so there's peeps going on the tower, that's good. I think we checked this, like, last time. This is newly built, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, how's our maze doing? Yeah, alright. So our maze has lost the magic. And, <laughs> well, it never had much magic to begin with. It did make us, like, a grand, you know, a good grand. So for a maze, I think that's already really decent. So if we just put it to 30 cents, uh, it can slack off. It can be retired after only a few months of service. And there's a lot of people that are jealous at such early retirements, but um, you earned your profits. And this ball, well, has the ball, wait, the ball, I made the same amount of profit? It's supposed to be super awesome. Well, then on the other hand, <laughs> it is just a ball, so, <laughs> alright, I guess it makes sense. Um, you're on a uh, half retirement. I am actually quite disappointed by this ball, really. It's balls. <laughs> so, yeah, well, I guess uh, not much we can do about it. I guess it's a ball, so. However, like I said, we have almost 26 grand. And we do have a very cool, awesome coaster type. Which is this, the inverted coaster. Now, you know, and I know, what's going to happen with our 26 grants. We're gonna blow all of, well, maybe not all, but the majority of it on a coaster. So, that's what's going to happen. And, um, you know, I'm kind of looking over here at the space in our park. And, uh, as you can see, most of our areas are f filled up quite badly already. So, we only really have space over here for coasters because, um, you know, stations and stuff, they require quite a bit of space, unfortunately. So, what I intend to do is build one grand coaster, which is going to be this inverted one, over here. And it will just go through above and below stuff 
all the way over on this area of the park and then we'll build another coaster over here in this area of the park going above and below as well so well, that's what I'll do now the inverter one is going to be over here and look man if we turn the supports on it's gonna be a nightmare it is a nightmare in fact already so that's gonna be quite a challenge and it might take us a while but um, I want a freaking awesome super cool coaster over here so that's what we're gonna shoot for and um, yeah let's see what we can make of it first though we need the station so let's start with that um, alright build custom design yeah and unpause the game because that always helps when building custom designs now I want this station to kind of be over here because this is going to be a grand coaster and grand coasters tend to be long which means that they will have speed once the uh, track is finished so to compensate for that we kinda need to have a bit of um, you know, space over here to get a nice well return track to the station really oh crap alright so you know forget what I just said <laughs> let's move the station back a bit you know uh, yeah, I need to remove one more piece of station because otherwise then this coaster is never gonna get from the ground <laughs> and that's more important than a <laughs> nice and smooth return to the station so yes that's more like it good now what would also be really cool is because we have all these towers over here I would kind of really like it if I can get this coaster to curl around those towers for a bit you know so all right and that's uh, one goal set for this grand coaster and look we are going up to height 35 and then we do an inline twist and a large half loop like that um, now on further thought we might not be able to pull this off no. In fact, we are not. Uh, that's not good, though. So what we will do is, uh, first of all, lift it. But then, we will just, you know, extend the whole area. Uh, no, not the corkscrew. And then to the left. Yes. Now, right now, I should be able to... Yes! Alright. So... How is this for a start? Alright, yeah, that's not possible, but... So, a loop, and immediately we go below one of our coasters. I think that's um, quite a feature to start with. This is just the start, man. I'm just getting warmed up now. So, if I do this, it has crazy speeds. So, that's a thing that we kind of cannot do, really. What we can do, though, is this to the other side. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> hmm. Balls. If I do this though, I don't know at what heights I'm, I'm at now. Let's get these supports out of the way too. Yeah, right now I'm like... Well, actually, this should be possible, but that's a bit too high. I don't wanna really want to be, uh, you know, all that high up. So, because they just made a daring drop let's have them go gently down to more acceptable heights well, how could it be if we could just yeah let's see if we can aim for that because the coaster will have speed now because I'm looking at this loop over here and I'm thinking like oh hell yes we are gonna go through that so right now we are above it you know so there's no real issue for anything So we will gently swing it about over here then we will have another drop Now the one thing I'm really worried about is intensity rating because um, you know the thing is that um, because we're so high up and we have such a long track to build still um, it could very well end up being way 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 too intense matter of fact I'm even having doubts about that whole I'm looping because of uh, height stuff. However, this should really be... Yeah, that's good. 
I like that. Because right now they should not have too much speed, so this should be a nice addition to the track. And then we'll lower this some more to over there. And right now we are at go through looping height. Yes, you heard that. That's the exact height we're at. Now if you look over at the track sector, just the design of you know of how the track looks, it could have been like uh, twins. And in fact, I think that this yellow coaster of which we are trying to go through the loop um, is actually like some kind of upgraded brother version of uh, the coaster that we're building right now. So at least I, th I have suspicion that it is. Now. Uh, I could have this go down to height um, 19 and I think that's what I want or where I want to be at really so let's give this a retry because right now I think no why not alright uh, alright yes come on now Coaster, don't be a bitch now. And let me through your loop. Alright, <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, maybe that's like impossible or something. Yeah, there's tracks all over the place actually. So why don't we not go through the loop? Why don't we... Because there's a gap over here. So let's just take that as uh, like the second next best thing really. Um, then maybe a loop. How about going up first a little bit? Oh, you know what would be really cool? If we can design our own tracks through our own loops. Though I, I don't, I'm not sure whether or not that's possible with this three high track. You know, the one that we have on this coaster. I want to try it anyway. It would be kind of cool if it was possible, right? No, it's probably not going to happen. Alright, well, in that case, um, and over here, yeah, however, I'm kind of worried about the whole speed thing, you know, I might not make it, so, you know what, let's forget that whole loop over here right now, and let's curve it gently about again, yes, and then we will go up. Oh, <laughs> that is my own coaster. I'm pretty damn sure of it. Can we have a loop through? No, no. And what about a half loop then? Also, no. Balls, balls, balls. I want cool stuff. Come on, game. Stop nagging. Oh, I'm actually at the crap, at the cork crap coaster. I don't really know where I'm aiming at right now, but please don't say that it's that dreaded loop which I cannot go through. Alright, so let's give this a retry, because right now I think I'm in clear area. And I should be able to somehow conjure up this dreaded loop that I want for like... Ah, man. I think, I think it must be this track then that's bugging us now. Alright. You know what, we'll run with it. Screw the game. I'm cool with it. It's going to be awesome. I know it. Now, already, this track piece over there, we kind of cannot pass through. So, how about we just squeeze about our towers over here, you know? Um, yeah, I think that would be quite cool. So, a helix down large, maybe? Or maybe not? No. <laughs> Quite certainly not. <laughs> That's, um, of that I'm pretty sure right now. Um, oh. Well, that's interesting though. Though That is a massive gain of speed. And uh, we should be really, really careful with that actually. So you know what? In fact, why don't we stay above it for now? Swirl about the towers for uh, for a bit. Well, actually, just for now. You know, curve up about them. Say hi, because that's what we're doing right now. Maybe 
can exit down large. Would that work? No, it won't. Um, Alright. So, in that case, a sharp turn. Now, we'll drop a few height levels. Yes. And then, we'll go over to the other tower. And the red brother of the rotor drop. Well, it's predecessor, really, because... But technically, well, that is what it is. How cool would it be if we could get this and then a corkscrew to the other side? Oh, well, that would be really, really cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is... Wow. Track design, man. It is awesome. However, right now, we're still building on high 25. And that's where normally, you know, our coasters start out at. So what I'll probably do is I'll have a break over here. So it, I'll break it down to like height 20 or uh, height 20. Let me talk. Uh, speed 6, you know. And then we will just start the coaster anew over here. And do again cool stuff with it. Because um, otherwise I think we will have way too much speed. So much in fact that I'm afraid I won't be able to get rid of it. Oh man, right now, uh, as well, I am going straight into a hornet's nest and I'm not sure whether or not it is possible to continue building from here. No, it is not, so let's not do that, alright? Um, yeah, let's indeed not do that. So right now, we have reasonable amounts of speed. Nothing too crazy, nothing to get worked up about, really, so... With that in mind, we can um, corkscrew. Can we corkscrew? We should be able to corkscrew. And of course we can corkscrew. Why wouldn't we? Alright, so, so far so good. Now, I could corkscrew over here and then do an inline twist. Now an inline twist. Yes. However, is this like... If I have the one to the right? No, this looks wrong. I think that is the one that racks up G's. Look! <laughs> this is a quite intense track piece. However, because th they're coming from height 19 and... Wait, no, height 25 actually, so... They do have some speed, but nothing too crazy. This should be really acceptable. Then we'll have a gentle drop and a nice wide curve. And now we will do, because over here we have some free space where there's no other coasters, you know, filling up all the space that we have. We will do our cool stuff over here, you know, have the damage magic happening over here. So that should not really cause too much G's. Let's just have it go down like this. Yes. And then another curve. No, it might seem a bit dull, especially for this kind of coaster, but I think that the guests will need some stomach settling time, really. I think this is a much appreciated idea. So, um, no, not the helix. How about a cork screw? <laughs> To the other side, and can I now have a half loop? No. <laughs> Why would <laughs> anything cool be possible, really? Huh? Game? Did you care to explain it? No, of course not. So, we will go with this. Yes. Um, maybe one wider, actually. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> mm, Alright, well. What's the issue? Oh, there's a tree in the way. I thought it was the roller coaster track, but. No, we are actually on the side of a roller coaster track. Awesome. Alright, so, time to go down some more. And right now, we are at a height. I hope that we can go above the water ride. Yes, we can. Alright, that's good news. Good news bears. Um, you know what, just for good measure, because we only have one, and I think that 
a grand coaster should have two. But damn, man, look at the track that we're making right now. And we still got 12 grand. Um, I don't think we're going to spend all our money on this, you know, on further thought. That was the intention at first, but I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, I'm not sure. Yeah, cool. I can still go above the path. Perfect. A long straight piece. That is boring, I know. But, um, I'm kind of like, you know, there's not much else I can do at the moment. Because right now, we are at the height and space, or a uh, spot I should say, that we kind of you know, do not have that many options anymore. So, I'm trying to see this coaster back to the station really. However, this might be a bit cheesy, but it could really, really end up well. If we just, you know, have a small underground section in it. <laughs> like, really small. Two blocks small, actually. Um, oh, but I think we, we might actually... That might actually not be such a bad idea, since we might need it, really. Crap. And now... It is impossible. Oh no, it's not. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, get the right backs on. Because I thought it would be impossible to... You know, raise and lower the land to where we want it to be. However... Uh, yeah, alright, alright. Alright, we'll do it like this. Underground sections, long, straight, boring, but needed for our return because I don't think I can pass below this uh, river right at height um, 6 because of this track being a 3 high track, remember? Oh, balls. Uh, yes. So, I don't know, but I don't think I need that much more space. Because that's actually already a one-off. So if I do this, I just lower the massive area over here. Uh, we're tycooning. We're rich, so we can afford this. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's some massive terraforming right there. <laughs> um, anyway, I think we are onto something, and I just hope and pray that this track won't be like ultra extreme and low in the excitement, but. Damn, man, this is quite a track. It has lots and lots and lots and then some more cool track features, if you ask me. So I am really, really curious to what the ratings will be on this. But damn, man, loop, swirling, corkscrewing, swirling some more. Uh, one loop, swirl, swirl, corkscrew. And here's a break. I mean, here it's gonna get held, you know, practically. So, wow. Anyway, you guys can check it out over here what the ratings will be uh, for this coaster. I am gonna construct a magnificent and glorious queue line for this. So, let's get a start with that. Because this coaster should be really a grand coaster, you know. I just hope it will make it though. I don't haven't made any impossible track pieces. Alright, so far the first corkscrew is a success. 78. Mellow curves, so Oh look at that! Almost at a standstill. Perfectly bit, if I say so myself. <laughs> and another almost standstill. Wow. Look at that though, and that is even more amazing. See? And now it just starts all over again. Alright, well... I am pretty sure that this won't be too intense, really. I am pretty damn sure of it. So, how's it going? Speed-wise, it's not actually all that interesting, though. I think the guests will appreciate it, and because it's such a long coaster, I really, really think and hope we will get good ratings on it. Now, we might need to break it, though, in this underground section. 
But one thing as well is because we have kind of given this a cheesy underground section, we might get really, really high ratings on it because going underground, I'm not sure about the exact values, but I think it adds like one excitement rating. And that is quite high. Please be good, be good, be good, be good. I know there's lots of special tracks, but we don't go through them like crazy and we have lots of mellow curves so I am really really hoping that we have good ratings on it though I fear the worst but I really hope that this one is excellent you know like uh, 11 excitement rating yes 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 ladies and gentlemen may I present to you the very first truly grand coaster of uh, this park these two are grand too, but they're like, well, you know, grand, but then there's grand, grand, grand. And that is what this is, exactly what this is. Damn, man, am I proud of this coaster? And it was, you know, spot on at the very first try. And we haven't even done anything special with it, so yeah, that's amazing. Open it up to the masses. Now, all we need to do really is color it. and. For the coloring, because it's such a large coaster, I want to color this with the whole park in view. Because, uh, yeah. And you know what? I already know the coloring, so... No? Yes. And then we're gonna have this, and then these. Or maybe these. That's a bit too much, though. That is really, really too much as well. So we'll go with these supports. They uh, they are adding in nice. And then we will have these and golden thingies. Or should we change it around? And then have these be orange. Well, I guess I need to zoom in to get a really not good view on this. But yeah. I think uh, this looks pretty damn slick. You know what? Let's just have orange trains. Now, this color scheme should be very familiar. However, I do not see a whole lot of guests going on it, really. Oh, there's our first one. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, as for a name, because this is kiddie fun stuff, um, right? And kids and kiddos listen to this Justin dude. So <laughs> we will have it be named this. Perfect. Alright, now I know one thing for very sure. This will most definitely need its own dedicated handyman. There's no doubt about that. And it will also need its own fix mechanic. There's also no doubt about that. So, yes. Because I don't want to have this coaster killing massive amounts of gas. Now, I also noticed that we had... Yeah, the bumper cars, which is cool, I mean, I approve, and uh, it's a slam down ride, so you know what? Because we do not have that much music in our park yet, let's build this, right? Could I have moved, yeah, I believe actually, and that would be even much better, I could move the whole thing to the side. Well, that would be really nice. Yes, <laughs> that, that, ah, uh, yeah, 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 perfect shared exit over here so I do not need to construct anything or assign anything new perfect and I will add some music to a park because I cylindrical jukebox uh, thingy is over here miles away yeah over here you don't really hear anything so um, good now I'm wondering though I mean do we have like uh, new music um, in the expansion I don't know, maybe, because I had them all installed uh, right from the start, so maybe all the music types are already in the original as well, you know, even the ones that you normally wouldn't get. I'm not really sure about any of that, though. Um, yeah, over here. No, nothing new, so we'll go with the rack time. Rack time, I think, was quite good. It's been quite a while since I fiddled with this, so... You know what? <laughs> <laughs> because bumper cars are for really tough boys and uh, you know the the cool dudes. <laughs> Let's have this be <laughs> girlish colored, <laughs> because all the cool dudes go on it, right? So yeah, we'll have this view a little bit darker. 
I'm gonna have this be yellow and green. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna call this. I'll be cool boy. Alright, because kids go to school. Oh man, my naming, my naming is so clever. Alright, but there we have it. It is our very first truly epic and grand coaster. On its own, you know, no needing for sync buttons and stuff to make it even cooler, but um, as we have space over here for yet another coaster, guess what's gonna happen? Yup, we are gonna sync this coaster up and crank these ratings through the roof, really. Because uh, damn is it awesome, and damn do I want more. However, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. What? Hairline Twister Roller Coaster. Um, Hairline Twister Roller Coaster? What? This looks like future stuff to me. I mean, look at it, man. <laughs> um, okay. So... Yeah, I guess we'll build this next to it. All right. Yeah, I guess so. However, we also we could also build the mine train coaster. What? Oh, this is the reserve coaster. Yeah, I remember that. This I think I've built it, and if not, it looks awfully similar to this coaster anyway from the picture. So. But um, that's all for next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon. So uh, yeah, join me next time.